<laughs> this guy's toast. You ready, guys? You ready? Oh shit, he can't kill me! No! Wait, he's not smart enough to know that, is he? Oh, thank god. Alright, alright. He is now Ragnaros. No! No! That's not fair! That's not fair! Alright, alright, alright. Now we naturalize it, turn him into Major... Major Ragnaros. Okay, okay. What? No, Blizzard, no! No! Hey guys, so I'm just going to take a brief moment to kind of talk about the clips a bit. In the first one, you'll notice that when my character was hit with possible lethal damage, the game automatically ended. The initial hit would not have killed me, so animated armor worked. But the second attack was a potential lethal, which is why the game ended. And as far as I can tell, it's because in this tavern brawl, Blizzard has added a pre-damage trigger that checks for lethal damage and gives you the win if the condition is met. It's basically an ice block that gives you the victory. So I'm guessing the reason why they did this is to avoid awarding wins to people who just concede right away. So by having this system in place, they will award only wins to people who get killed by Stormwind. There are currently three pre-damage trigger effects, Animated Armor, Ice Block, and Both Ramp Shield. Animated Armor has the highest priority, with Ice Block and Both sharing the same lower priority. Which means if that all three effects are in play, Animated Armor will always go first while Ice Block and both Ramp Shield will be determined by play order. For example, here's Animated Armor and Ice Block being played in both orders. And in both cases, Animated Armor triggers first, which stops Ice Block from being triggered. However, with both Ramp Shield and Ice Block, you can see that the order ends up mattering since Ice Block is popped in one case but not the other. It looks like the Tavern Brawl special pre-damage trigger has an even higher priorities than these three, which is why they won't work once you get within lethal range. So in the second clip, I want to test to see if you can kill Storm and City if you transform it into Ragnaros first. But to my surprise, at the end of the turn, he refreshes both the hero and the hero power. So in my second attempt, I figured I'd just kill him before he has a chance to refresh. But alas, Blizzard was one step ahead of me and had a fail safe in place. If Storm and City dies as Ragnaros, it just refreshes again. With the final one, I did the classic Kalthuzad plus Taunt strategy which would trick the computer into never attacking. And once that happens, I'm free to continuously buff up with Lower Walker Cho, as the computer will also play any divine spirits you put into his hand, trading it back and forth. Now the reason why you'll never see anyone go above 2 billion is because in Hearthstone, the maximum value a number can be is 2,147,483,647. 
Once you cross over this number, it resets to zero, which means if you buff a minion's health above this number, it dies. If you buff a minion's attack above this number, it resets to zero. The reason for this is because in Hearthstone, numbers are stored in 32 bits signed binary integers, which is a lot of nerd talk, I know, but just hear me out. Basically, there are 32 digits and each one of them could be either 1 or 0. Each digit represents a power of 2. So starting from the right, it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, so on and so forth. For example, 101 in binary will equal to 5. Because the digit for 2 is set to 0, we don't count it. So if 31 bits are set to 1 and you add them all up, it all totals up to the, the maximum number we were talking about. So if that's the case, what's the final 32nd bit used for then? Remember that you also have to represent negative numbers. In this case, the 32nd bit is actually worth negative 2,147,483,648. If this bit is set to 1, then you will subtract this number to whatever value you get from the rest. For example, if all 32 digits were set to 1, the total will just come out to negative 1 as you would just combine these two numbers. And this system allows you to represent any integer between this range. Which is the explanation of why you won't find anyone doing more than that amount of damage in this tavern brawl. Alright, that's gonna do it for me. Hope you learned something today. Thanks as usual for liking and subscribing. I love all of you. Bye bye. I think I might have to craft a second sideshow spell leader for consistency. But I'm broke. I'm broke. I got I got I got three hundred gold though. I can buy I can buy TGT packs until I get Sideshow Spell Eater. Alright guys? Alright? We'll, we'll just get we'll just get we'll just get it from a pack. Nope. Small small This is voodoo! Talk about how there might be a super secret priest deck that people just haven't run into, haven't been able to come up with yet. Lights out.